Hi guys, welcome back on Lingala Academy channel. The best place to learn the pure Lingala easier and faster. By pure Lingala, I mean the one that's not mixed with French or any other language. If you're here for the first time or you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe by activating the notification so we send you the alerts whenever we upload a new video. In today's lesson, you're going to form your first sentence in the present tense in Lingala. I will give you all the steps that you need to follow to conjugate verbs in the present tense in Lingala. Also, I will give you a structure that will guide you to form on your own your sentences in the present tense in Lingala. Stay tuned and watch this video to the end. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe, like this video and comment. Also share this video with your friends and families. Hey guys, before we jump straight to the rules on how to conjugate verbs in the present tense in Lingala, I want you to memorize all the subject pronouns in Lingala because these are very crucial. They're very important for you to know because if you know them, you will be able to conjugate any verb in Lingala and in any tense. It's guaranteed that if you know this, you will be able to conjugate so make sure to memorize this i have grouped this in two categories the first category is the uh, singular subject pronouns in lingala which are na na is i in english o is you a is e or she and a is it a is it it's not i it's it's a it's pronounced as a so don't be confused and the uh, plural subject pronouns in lingala are to bo and ba to is we bo is you and ba is they also i want you to know that in many other languages the subject pronouns and the conjugated verb are two separate things or two separate words. But in Lingala, both are combined into a single word. By this, I mean the subject pronouns are never used alone. They're always used with the main verb in any form or any tense that you want to use them so when you use them the subject pronoun is combined and it's always put at the beginning of your word or the beginning of your your verb i will explain this further also know that beside nouns every lingala verb begins with ko which tells you that the verb is in definitive form all the verb in lingala also hand by a except the verb to go which is kokende in lingala kokende means to go example Kosunga. You see here it starts with ko, K O. Kosunga. Kosunga and it ends with a. Kosunga means to help. Kobosana means to forget. Kobunda means to fight. Kolinga means to like or to love. Same verb. And the last thing I want you to know is to put a verb in the negative form in all tenses in Lingala, 
it's very easy you just need to add te after the verb just add te it's easy and that will be in the negative form example for the verb to help the affirmative form is kosunga right kosunga here so if we want to put it in the negative form we just need to put te here and that will be do not help right and another example here for the example to like you will just put t here and that will be do not like or do not love so that work with any verb now let's learn the rules on how to form verbs in the present tense in lingala the first thing you want to know about those rules is you need to drop the ko at the front of the verb in definitive form and leave the verb in the imperative form for example here we're working with the verb kosunga which means to help so for this verb we're gonna drop ko here we drop ko, we stay with sunga. Sunga is the imperative form of the verb kosunga, to help. Next, you need to draw the a, which is at the end of the imperative form. We drop this one here, the a. With you, with, when you drop that, you stay with sung, okay? Then next, you need to add e. This is E in Lingala. It's not pronounced as I in English. It's E. You add E at the end. Okay. When you add E, you will have Sungi. Sungi. Then, finally, you need to choose an appropriate subject pronoun that you want to use. For example, if I want to say I help. I will pick this one, which is I in English. So I will put this one at the beginning of my of my verb. I put that here, and I will have nasungi. Nasungi means I help. Same thing with uh, the verb. Uh, to like you just follow all the rules that I've shown you here and you will have the same result it works for any verb um, now let me give you the structure of how to form the verb in the present tense in Lingala you just follow this one here so if you don't want to memorize this just follow the structure here and try to replace this by the verb that you want you want to work with you're gonna have the same result okay now let's conjugate the verb to help or kosunga in the present tense in lingala i help i help in lingala is nasungi nasungi right here i put gaps for you to know that this is the uh, subject pronoun and this one is the main verb they should be combined they should be joined together by i intentionally put gaps here for you to know that these are the subject pronouns but they should be combined together like this i help is nasungi you help is osungi he or she helps is asungi it helps is esungi esungi 
Dosungi means we help. Bosungi means you help. Second person of the plural. Basungi. Basungi means they help. The present tense of the verb to forget in Lingala. To forget in Lingala means kobosana. Kobosana. Nabosani. Nabosani means I forget. Obosani. Obosani means you forget. Abosani. Abosani means he or she forget. Ebosani. Ebosani means it forget. Tobosani. Tobosani means we forget. Bobosani. Bobosani is you forget. And babosani. Babosani means they forget. So if you want to say, uh, I forget my money, for example, you will just add money here. Money in Lingala means mbongo. M B O N G O. Mbongo. So that will be nabosani mbongo. Nangai. Nangai means my. So in Lingala, my comes after the, the, the noun or after, uh, yeah, after the noun. So it's not going to be like my money straight, but you will swipe that like money comes first and then my, my comes after that. Nabosani mbongo nangai. Okay. Present tense of the verb to like in Lingala. To like in Lingala means kolinga. Kolinga. Nalingi. Nalingi is I like. Olingi. Olingi. You like. Alingi. Alingi. Alingi means he or she likes. Elingi. Elingi. Elingi means it likes. Tolingi. Tolingi means we like. Bolingi. Bolingi means you like. And balingi. Balingi means they like. Kolinga also means to love. The present tense of the verb to love in Lingala. To love means kolinga. Kolinga. The same verb is also used for the verb to like. Nalingi means I love. Olingi means you love. Alingi means he or she loves. Elingi. Elingi means it loves. Tolingi. Tolingi means we love. Bolingi. Bolingi means you love. And balingi means they love. For example, nalingiyo means I love you. This is the end of this video. If you like it and you like the work that we're doing, please hit the like button 
share this video with your friend family and anyone you want to learn lingala with also comment below to show your love and support to keep us motivated to bring you more quality lessons don't forget to subscribe and activate the ring so we send you all the notifications whenever we upload a new lesson and make sure you also add us on snapchat instagram facebook and twitter because we also send notifications there and we send some stuff that you guys cannot find here on youtube if you want to support us financially to buy new equipment to bring you more quality lessons you can donate on paypal.com slash lingala academy or you can also donate on patreon.com slash lingala academy thank you and see you next time